Dear students, we will study a poetry, A Legend of the Northland by Phoebe Carey, an American poetess. This poetry is a ballad. And what is a ballad? A ballad is a song narrating a story in short stanzas. So, ballads are a type of poetry in which a story is being told. Or we can say, a story is said in the form of a poetry. Those poetries are called ballad. And this poetry is also a ballad. Now we will try to understand the poetry. So please look into your textbook. This poem narrates the legend of an old lady who angered Saint Peter because of her greed. So a little introduction is given about the poetry or the ballad. That is, uh, this poetry narrates, narrates means explains uh, how an old lady angered Saint Peter. Hope you know who is um, Saint Peter. So Saint Peter was the disciple of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was having 12 disciples and this Saint Peter was one among them. And after the death of uh, Jesus Christ, uh, these disciples were moving around like uh, sages or monks and preaching the gospel. So this Saint Peter happened to meet an old lady, a greedy lady uh, and that lady anchored Saint Peter and afterwards what happens, all those things only we'll see in this uh, poetry. So. Uh, let's try to understand the uh, poetry stanza by stanza. So look into your textbook. Away, away in the Northland, where the hours of the day are few and the nights are so long in winter that they cannot sleep them through. So as I said in the beginning, it is a ballad. It, it narrates a story. So the poetry all starting like a story only. So when we start a story, uh, you know how it starts once upon a time usually the story begins like that so same way the poetry is beginning this incident what we are going to see in this poetry is taking place in a uh, very far away in Northland exactly the place is not mentioned but it is uh, mentioned in uh, Northland that means uh, uh, near the North Pole where the hours of the day are few and the nights are so long and the uh, speciality of this place also mentioned that there the hours of the day is few and the night is too long that means uh, most of the time this area uh, the climate will be winter so winter time you know the daytime will be less and night will be too long uh, so uh, like that this place the night is too long uh, it is so long it is mentioned that people will not be able to sleep whole night that means uh, after sleeping they will be getting up but still the night will be continuing that means too long night they used to have in this uh, place Northland no? so uh, place exactly the place name is not mentioned but northern part of the earth only the story is taking place we will see the next answer where they harness the sifted reindeer to the sledges when it snows and the children look like bears cubs in their funny furry clothes so a little more explanation is given about that place in the next stanza that is in this area when snow falls they use sledges sledges you must have seen uh, so it's a vehicle that is used in uh, uh, snow falling areas and uh, those uh, sledges are pulled by some animals like uh, a reindeer uh, reindeers also you must have seen it and they only pull this sledges so in this particular northern part of uh, that world where where the story is taking place they also use these uh, sledges with, uh, and that is pulled by this reindeer and the children look like bear's cups and the children will be wearing this winter cloth and you know so thick winter cloth they will be wearing and they look like uh, uh, these bear's cups uh, the small ones young ones of these bears like that only they uh, look in that uh, furry clothes so, you know in winter time there are some uh, clothes available with the fur of uh, some of the animals or uh, the cloth look like the fur of some animals and it, it keeps uh, the body warm so that kind of winter cloth these children wear and they look like the bear's cubs in this uh, particular place where the story is taking place they tell them a curious story i don't believe it is true and yet you may learn a lesson if i tell the tale to you so the poet is telling that uh, in this particular place they share a story or they tell a story 
so that story is very curious curious here means a very interesting story and uh, i don't believe the poet is telling i don't believe that uh, story is a true story but still i will tell you the story because it gives a lesson so you know there are some stories which gives a lesson and especially uh, young children's uh, stories always at the end there will be a message or a lesson it will be giving so and the poet is telling that uh, this story which is shared in this particular place and uh, it may not be true but still i will share with you the story uh, because it gives a lesson that is what the poet is telling in that stanza hope you understood we'll go to the next stanza once when the good saint peter lived in the world below and he walked about it preaching just as he did you know so this stanza is talking about the saint peter when he was living on this earth he was moving around preaching preaching means uh, giving a uh, religious talk and all he came to the door of a cottage in traveling round the earth where a little woman was making cakes and baking them on the hearth so he was moving around and uh, he came to a cottage a small house where a woman was living and she was preparing cakes and uh, laying the cake or baking the cake in a fireplace hearth hearth means uh, fireplace uh, the floor of the fireplace is called a hearth so she was preparing uh, this cake uh, and uh, uh, trying to bake that cake at that, that time only the saint peter came to that house and being faint with the fasting for the day was almost done he asked her from her store of cakes to give him a single one so the saint peter he was fasting all day and it was almost evening time and he was feeling so hungry and uh, uh, he came and saw this woman was preparing cake and uh, he asked Uh, please give one cake because i am so hungry so a single piece or a uh, single cake or a piece of cake please give me for uh, quenching my hunger so that is like that he just asked a cake from this woman so she made a very little cake but as it baking lay she looked at it and thought it seemed too large to give away so when the saint peter asked a cake she prepared a small one a very small one she prepared and as it was getting ready uh, she looked at it and she felt uh, this cake is too large to give away uh, so uh, she felt she prepared a small one only but when it was being cooked or when it was being cooked she felt it is uh, quite big and she did not feel to give away to saint peter therefore she needed another and still a smaller one but it looked when she turned it over as large as the first had done so therefore she prepared another one she needed needed means uh, again she mixed all the uh, this uh, flour and uh, all those things uh, water and everything uh, which is required for preparing a cake and still smaller one she prepared first she is a small one she prepared and after cooking she felt it is quite big now she uh, prepared little more smaller one and as she was preparing it as she was turning it you know uh, when one side is cooked it has to be turned to other side uh, so when she turned it she felt this one also is looking quite big and she did not feel to give that also to the uh, saint peter Then she took a tiny scrap of dough and rolled and rolled it flat and baked it thin as a wafer but she couldn't part with that then she again put a very small scrap small scrap means a small piece of uh, uh, dough dough means the mixed uh, flour and uh, what all things required for preparing this uh, uh cake you know after mixing that uh, after mixing the flour a little portion she took and rolled and rolled it flat and she was uh, rolling it and rolling it and made it very thin uh, so like wafer wafer you know very thin a type of biscuit like um, you will get in the shop and also like that uh, very thin and very crispy like that very very small size she prepared but she couldn't part with that but after preparing again she was not feeling comfortable to give that to the saint for she said 
my cakes that seems too small when i eat of them myself are yet too large to give away so she put them on the shelf so she told to this saint peter that my cakes when it is for me when i prepare it looks very small but when i want to give to someone freely it looks so big so i don't like to give you so she uh, stored it in the shelf the prepared cakes then good saint peter grew angry for he was hungry and faint and surely such a woman was enough to provoke a saint so the then saint peter got terribly angry so because he was so hungry and he was about to faint faint this word came before also i forgot to tell the meaning faint means you know uh, little bit getting giddiness that means uh, getting little chakkar no you know about to fall down like that so uh, because of hungry he was about to fall and this woman was preparing cake and not giving she was storing in the shelf and last she said see i can't give away because when it is prepared for me i feel it is small but when i want to give to someone i feel it is too large and i don't want to give it to you so uh, such kind of woman was enough to provoke a saint provoke provoke means uh, to make angry Uh, a saint saint means a holy person saint peter was a holy person uh, he won't get angry usually like that but this woman made him angry because of her uh, behavior and he said you are far too selfish to dwell in a human form to have both food and shelter and fire to keep you warm so in that anger he gave a curse so he said you are too selfish to be human you know being a human this much selfishness is not good and you should not be in this human form and have uh, good food and shelter and uh, enjoy the warmth of fire all those facilities you should not enjoy having this much selfishness now you shall build as the birds do and shall get your scanty food by boring and boring and boring all day in the hard dry wood so he gave a what is called a curse so now you will live like birds and you will get only scanty food you know uh, this birds and all they get this stomach full food very rarely uh, because uh, you know some birds they move around they catch small creatures and all uh, or some small small worms and all they don't get this worms or these creatures so much so many together you know one by one after getting one uh, what is called a small creature or small uh, what insect and all afterwards uh, again they will have to search so like that little by little only very small amount of food only they get at a time so the curse this saint gave to this woman also was like that now you will live like a bird getting scanty food little little food and that also by working boring the uh, hard dry wood so boring boring means drilling drilling the wood and you will get little bit food like bird you are going to live now like that a curse the saint peter gave to this woman then up she went through the chimney never speaking a word and out of the top flew a woodpecker for she was changed to a bird and that curse became true within no time she became a woodpecker uh, so woodpecker have you seen a kind of uh, bird only it moves around uh, boring the uh, dried wood and they get some worms and all that is their food so like that you must have seen the woodpeckers moving around so this is the origin of woodpecker a woman was cursed by saint peter and she became a woodpecker so after this curse uh, the chimney was there uh, in that kitchen of this lady's house and through the ventilation of that chimney came out a woodpecker because After this curse this woman was changed into a woodpecker she had a scarlet cap on her head and that was left the same but all the rest of her clothes were burned 
black as a coal in the flame so as she became a bird and flew through that chimney only there was fire and all that so her whole body became burned and became black and only one scarlet cap she was wearing this you know uh, this chef and uh, cook uh, and all they wear a kind of uh, cap uh, so a red cap in some places and that cap was left without any damage and that became a decoration for this bird uh, if, when you see the woodpecker you must have seen on their head a, a red colored a decoration is there so the, uh, the poet tells this is how they got that uh, cap like thing and you see the picture uh, and the whole body other body part is uh, black in color so uh, this is how they got this decoration and all that is what the poet is telling and every country schoolboy has seen her in the wood where she lives in the trees till this very day boring and boring for food and every country all the children must have seen this woodpecker and now also till today the woodpeckers are moving around boring the dry wood for their food and i hope you also must have seen the woodpeckers and they are moving around and this is how this uh, woodpecker came into existence and this is the story and this poetry is giving a simple message that if we become too much greedy and too much selfish that will ruin our life and we will be in big trouble that is what the poet is telling or that is the message this poetry is giving so this is the ballad hope you understood and now this is a quite uh, long poetry you may not get the summary and all but you may get uh, question answers from this uh, poetry so important question answers i am giving here you can write it down and you can study so meet you in the next video with a new chapter